Enbridge opponents are using species at risk as ammunition in their arguments against the Northern Gateway Pipeline. We've heard arguments surrounding the Nechaco white sturgeon, but today it was all about the mountain caribou. Environmental groups fear the project could cause them to disappear, but Enbridge says it has planned the route with the species in mind. These intriguing creatures are one point of concern around the Northern Gateway Pipeline. Lawyers for BC Nature questioned a panel of Enbridge experts for almost five hours on the Northern Gateway's potential impacts on wildlife, including mountain caribou. It's an issue also pinpointed by Echo Justice. Because it will run through the habitat of the known habitat of, of four of these herds of southern mountain caribou. Most of them will be located uh, to the east of Prince George, but there's one herd, the Telqua herd, which is located um, more or less south by south uh, west of Smithers. Enbridge has stated it would provide financial compensation in the case of a spill. The primary is one, uh, safety for the people, and then you'd go into uh, baiting the spill and cleaning it up. So basically you're trying to put the environment back to where it was beforehand. You just put your resources into doing that. Carruthers wouldn't say if compensation would be provided if the construction affected wildlife, but says its route minimizes effects on wildlife like the caribou. Your primary aspect is trying to avoid any conflict with wildlife, and you can generally do that through the seasonality of construction. So particularly with the caribou herds, you can actually build the pipeline when the caribou aren't there. But opponents aren't convinced. Echo Justice and BC Nature both say the construction itself is what puts the caribou in peril. It's probably in the construction and the access roads that are needed for construction that may have a bigger impact upon caribou than an actual spill would. Because unlike fish, which are heavily dependent upon water to live, the terrestrial animals such as caribou may be affected by spills, but it's more likely that they're going to be affected by the linear uh, project itself. The mountain caribou is already on the Species at Risk Act, and Echo Justice fears the pipeline could put them over the edge. These are a species that need large tracts of land in order to survive, uh, and they tend to not do well when their habitat is fragmented, as it often is by linear expansions such as pipelines or roads or things of that nature. The animal is one of four that are part of Echo Justice's species at risk litigation against the federal government. Aileen Machel, CKPG News.